This is another thing that we can do to help with our hip mobility. So what we're gonna do is just kneeling on the ground. Uh, we're gonna play with a few different things because I think that increasing the variability is gonna help with your mobility. So when we're working on this hip here, what we'll do is we'll grab a weight first. So grab what you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be a particularly heavy load. It's just something that you're comfortable to hold on to. Uh, that's going to help you just engage your core and get that back nice and straight so we can really focus our work on the hip rather than getting the movement from other areas. So what we're going to do, so once we grab that weight, we're just going to, first we'll start off having our uh, foot more in front and we're just going to go forward and back a few times. We're just going to help stretch out that hip flexor. And then we can put our foot out to the side and go that way. Which is going to help stretch those groin muscles out as well. If you're confident as well, what you can do is go and get yourself, almost tip yourself over to the other side to kind of have a bit of a stretch on the side of the hip there. And then another thing that you can do is you can play with the position of this back leg. So what you can do is turn it in this way. So you can see my foot through there. It's not just straight back. And you can now go into that direction or you can go forwards from there as well. And you might find it more challenging to straighten up and go that way from there. You can also play with having it turned in this way. And again, going again in different directions. So you can have the foot, the front foot in different positions to where you find it comfortable to stretch. And you can also pivot the back foot as well and find the combination that's gonna stretch the parts of the hip that you are feeling most tight in. And so when you're doing this, just spend maybe 30 seconds or so working in the area feeling most tight in and then have a look through if there's other areas as well. Obviously, if you have the other leg out to the side a bit more, you'll get to stretch that hip as well at the same time. But the focus is going to be on the one that's on the floor. So give that one a go, see how it feels.